Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Okay, now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> uh, so that's Gabby, and she has discovered there's a little um, hidey hole under our counter next to me um, where our computer console sits, and that's her favorite hidey place now. Oh, let me move this. My microphone has a mind of its own these days. So, <laughs> enjoy. Um, good morning, everybody. It's Monday. I'm really disorganized. Um, <laughs> so, how was your weekend? Ours was pretty mellow. We did a lot of reading. Um, a great, great author. I I'll, I'll do a plug for somebody here. I don't know her at all. Uh, it's just, we like her books, Jeanette Wells. Um, this one's a silver star. Uh, this one's fiction, but she has two other books about uh, her grandmother and also how she grew up. And they uh, really interesting, really interesting life growing up, you know, living in a cave out in Texas and then New Mexico. And um, you wouldn't think people live that way in this country, but they do. How is Gabby doing? Gabby is doing great. She, she's back in her hidey hole. Um, she fit right in. The other dogs all came to meet her and the boys sniffed and sniffed and sniffed. And um, after about a minute of sniffing, she went and that was that. And uh, she, uh, Fit right in. We thought Shana would be snippy. Shana didn't even care. Shana barely said hello. She's like, yeah, whatever. Um, so not a problem. And she had, we completely changed her diet. You know how everybody says, oh, you've got to do a slow change when you go from one diet to another. Uh, she used to eat kibble and um, she eats raw. And uh, the very first couple of meals, she was like, I, I don't know about that stuff. Uh, so I spoon fed her. I fed her some off my finger and then fed her some off a spoon. And she said, holy cow, this is like the best stuff in the world. So now she hasn't had the same meal twice yet. She um, She's had rabbit. She's had a mix of turkey, pork, and rabbit. She's had um, duck. She had pork. Um She's had answers. She's had primal. She's had all provide. She's been all over the place and um, loving it. And uh, when you feed high quality food, generally you can jump right in there. And uh, we haven't had any problems at all with her. And she got put on all the same supplements that all of our kids take. Um, she definitely acts like she's got CMSM of some sort when she gets nervous or anxious, she does the scratch, um, which is pretty common for these guys because they are a little bubble-headed breed. So uh, we're used to it. Every one of our dogs has CM or SM. Two have been confirmed on MRI. Shana, we don't even need to confirm it on MRI. She, her spine is so crooked and she's, she's a mess. So, um, so 
<laughs> Neely says she gave one meal of just squash on Saturday night, and now the new Foster is into all raw. Can't wait to see him transform. I know it. The the transformation is so fast. Although this one came with a nice coat. I mean, she's beautiful. Her her uh, mom took phenomenal care of her. Really phenomenal care of her. Uh, which pork do I use? Well, right now they're on some answer straight pork because we had a bunch of extra at the clinic. So uh, Pam asked me if I would bring some home and uh, use it up. So we are. And uh, I've also used, um, we've got some ground pork from here today. Uh, so we're all over the place. So yeah, she's had hair today as well. So, you know, Ton, tons of different stuff. Uh, she's had some Dr. Harvey's because we uh, mixed some pork with um, Paradigm. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm a big fan of a lot of different companies. I'm a fan of rotation. And um, so we're kind of all over the place with our guys. I don't eat the same meal twice and I don't expect them to either. I think that rotation is very good for them. And the same with our cats. Um, oh my gosh. Yes, in the last couple days, our cats have had lamb, fish, beef, pork, turkey, chicken. Uh, they've had food from Farmina. They've had Vital Essentials. They've had Primal. They've had, I'm trying to think what other canned is down there. Waruva, BFF. Um, we have everything. Uh, so they're kind of all over the place. Um, Hillsboro farm has pasture raised pork. Uh, yeah, I used to live up in that neck of the wood. Gabby's story. Gabby's story is she was a breeding dog, a very reputable breeder who does health testing. Uh, she's heart clear. She'll be five in, I think January. Um, uh, heart clear patellas are in place. Um, but her, uh, one of her offspring, who's about a year old, developed a juvenile cataract. And so this is a good breeder who said, I'm not going to breed uh, this dog anymore if uh, there's a chance that puppies could develop cataracts. So she stopped uh, and was looking for a home to place her um, where she would be forever loved and cared for. So I had a weak moment. It was... I, an English toy, and my heart really belongs to the toys. I, I love the Cavaliers. Tell your little story about what you had growing up, the little figurines. Oh, it was and funny. We were, we were out for a walk yesterday, and uh, we had all four dogs with us. Shana was in the wagon. And I said, you know, she's got a much shorter nose even than George. And a lot of the English toy, I mean, they come in all different looks, but a lot of the English toys have really short noses. And when I was a child, I had a, my grandparents, every time they took a trip would, which was all the time, they would bring us back some little gift. And one of the gifts that they brought me, and I still have it, um, was a little set of ceramic dogs and they were brown and white Pekingese. And so, and they were only about this big, but it was the mama, the papa and the baby. And they had their little pushed in faces and their little curly tails. And I always loved them. Um, we don't see very many Pekingese. And most of the ones that we see, their personalities are a little difficult. Um, not really friendly, outgoing all the time. A lot of times they are um, pretty guarded. They like their people and not other people. Um, so it wouldn't be a great choice. But... Um, as we were walking yesterday, I said, you know, I think I really like the English toys because as a child, I really liked my little Pekingese characters. And these guys have a similar face, especially hers, because she has a shorter nose that's a little turned up. Anyway, um, so, hi, Judy Ehrlichman. <laughs> I knew I recognized the name when I saw you uh, welcomed into that other group the other day. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Uh, Opinion on small batch and bones and company. We've fed small batch. I like them. Uh, bones and company. I have not fed just because um, just don't know. I, I, I just haven't found them yet. <laughs> Michelle says my next dog is going to be a Pekingese. I'm going to get a raw fed one from birth. That would be great. That would be great. So yeah, supposed to be friendly. Hmm. I don't know. I, like I said, we have, Do you have any in your two. Bones? 
I think I can think of two in our practice. One wants to eat me. <laughs> so is the other one. <laughs> Maybe they just don't like doctors. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, my day is going to be just really fun and exciting today. I'm getting my tooth fixed. Get over here. <laughs> getting my tooth fixed. Um, or at least getting a temporary cap, something. I don't know. Ugh. Okay. I'm not, not my, I, if, can I have music? You can. Not my idea of fun. I, I just, I told my dentist story the other day. I, yeah. Fun and games. Fun and games. Here, I'll see if I can show off my shirt. It's a little big. You should have gotten me a small. Oh, go this way. Liquor. The glue holding this 2020 shit show together. Might be my new motto. Because 2020 is just so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Cavalier, since you were five, hard to stray from, to a different breed. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Uh, my daughter's first rescue was a Cavalier. My first rescue was an English toy. Little Laura Lou, my old try toy. So, meditate in the dentist chair. Teresa, I can't meditate if I sit in a dark closet by myself. I'm certainly not going to be able to meditate in a dentist chair with drills going. <laughs> Take deep breaths and think about the next martini on your shirt, yeah. Now, what I tend to do is I dig my nails into my leg. I'll come home with bloody legs. <laughs> it's just... Bring headphones to the dentist. 